the Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we have three comic books to talk to you guys about today. We're going to talk about Catwoman number two, Batman number two, and Xenoholics number one, oh, which is not it. about Xena Warrior Princess. These aren't babies. You can talk about them normally. Would you like to hear some comic reviews? <laughs> it's just condescending. <laughs> <laughs> guys, let's kick it off talking about Justin's most masturbatory fantasy, <laughs> Catwoman number two. I would deny that if it weren't true. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you like this comic. Good night. Justin, you like. Good night. <laughs> Justin, you like this comic book. Why? <laughs> Uh, I like it because it's good. Uh, a lot of people, this is a very controversial issue number one on Catwoman because it was too sexy. I say I don't know, it's no, just totally sexy reason. enough. Well, it was like too graphic and it was sort of like about that and a little Dumb. aggressive. Well, I, I will say, say actually I didn't have as big of a problem. I'm just mm -hmm. needling with it. Yeah, feel free to needle, needle on. Uh, the art in this comic is uh, very beautiful um, and I, I like the story. I'm interested to follow, on following the actual story of Catwoman. Uh, it's a nice plot, I think, and there's a nice twist and turn here. I think it's good. And the sex is good too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, I like Catwoman as a character. I just this Catwoman doesn't really. Uh, I'm I'm not as into it. Uh, you know, sexy fine, but I just I, I don't know. I, I want more of a purpose behind the sexy, I guess. And I I don't get it. It just feels to me like it's, it's sexy of. for no reason. But uh, hey, it's Catwoman and a Catwoman and Batman got a thing going on, so that's cool. Yeah. What, uh, what purpose do you have when you have sex? Hey, me just making babies. Is that what you're saying? No. I have to agree. Real Quaker. If, if Catwoman was trying to make babies, I would like this comic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, oh. Now, the art's great. Gil March uh, draws some, like you said, very sexy women. If you want to get somebody to draw sexy women, Gil March is the guy to do. John Williams is a fine writer. I'm not totally in love with this book, but I don't hate it as much as everybody else does. Let's move on to Batman number two, which I think we unilaterally love. So, what do you guys think about this book? This is amazing. Scott Snyder is doing an amazing job. Uh, uh, the art's unbelievable. This is fantastic Batman. Just, wow. What an amazing ride. I can't say amazing enough. Uh, it's nice that it's getting so much credit, especially because I feel like this is the work that uh, Scott Snyder, the same work he was doing in te Detective Comics um, with Dick Grayson, and now he, uh, it's popping out. It's, it's great. It's using a lot of Gotham history. Greg Capullo's art is fantastic. Very suited to uh, both Batman the character and also Scott Snyder's writing style. Uh, can't wait for more. Love yeah, the yeah, The thing that I love about this is the level of invention that Scott Snyder is bringing to the book. First issue, we got that fun thing where we had the visual recognition of people outside the Batcave, essentially yeah. having the Bat computer outside. This time, Batman doesn't need to go to the city morgue because he's got it rigged with holographic projectors. Yeah. So he can examine a body, you know, at home while he's relaxing over dinner or whatever I, he wants to do. I also... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I, I was gotta just gonna say... Wait, wait. So I just feel... <laughs> can I just... No, no. I feel like... Pete. The action... In a world of interruptions. Well, that's I, not... I just, can I just say that Pete didn't get a nap before this, so he got a little quick. Me, 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 me. Anyways, uh, the action is really unbelievable. I'm fearful for Batman. How is he going to get out of this? This is really... Uh, I think well there's done. a good chance Batman's going to die. Yeah. Not gonna come it's out issue yet. three. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Actually, right. did the Dick Grayson stuff. I'm a little like, yo, are you making Dick Grayson a villain? Because he's a friend of mine. You and Dick, huh? Yeah. yeah. You like Dick? <laughs> Yo, cool it. All right, let's like move Cap on. Talk about Xenoholics number one. This is a book from Image. Basically, the idea is a bunch of people who have been or say they have been kidnapped by aliens a bunch of times. Various states of addiction towards being kidnapped by aliens. Some of them want it to happen again. Some people want it to stop. Some people are scared of it. Uh, really cool, really funny, exciting new book uh, with a good take on an alien abduction thing. Doesn't shy away from humor, but also has some really big ideas by the end. Yeah, I really thought the writing was solid, uh, setting up a world, getting you interested, and then kind of a fun twist along the way. Uh, uh, I think this is kind of a cool, different uh, book, and I'm really excited about it. A lot of twists and turns. Pete, how did it compare when, to when you were abducted by aliens? Dude, shut up, man. You said you weren't going to bring that up. It was me in a mask. Guys, don't think ever go out in a row by yourself. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't think about it. Think sure. about the possibility. Yeah, what could have happened? I'll never tell. I will tell if you just email me. <laughs> yeah. Email Justin at probesarefun at probesarefun.com. Uh, <laughs> I changed the websites uh, already there. Uh, uh, Guys, if you have any questions, you can write There's us also in. info at probesarefun.com. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like the info address better. That's what I bookmarked in <laughs> yeah. my Yahoo account. Please. Email us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com. Also, check out our website, comicbookclublive.com. Also, email us at how's our audio doing at comicbookclublive. <laughs> We're 
We're trying, guys. We're, we're trying. trying. We, we put more time into establishing the uh, email address than <laughs> actually addressing the issue of the audio. Well, I'm sure they'll take care of each other. Am I peeking? <laughs> Hey, at Comic you remember in New York City on Tuesday, we'd love to see you at our live show. Someone actually showed up and made Justin buy him a beer, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, good night. That's great. Good, good night. night. Good night. Oh, you go to sleep. You go right to sleep. You go right to sleep.